I guarded the Celestial River with my boys 80,000 strong and the puny revenants dare to impede me. That grand transformation of mine was the only reason you're still standing here. A proper kneel to show gratitude would be appropriate, no? Fooled me once, never again. Deceptive tactics like this pose no threat. I'll go size them up first. Keep pace, boy. Face out with it. If a single lie slips, my rake shall strike true. <laughs> that was so close. Thank you for saving me. I am the Bull King's daughter, Ping Ping. Oh, nonsense! The bull has no daughter. Dare to fool me, scoundrel! <laughs> I I know who you are. My mother is Princess Fairfox. You killed her. <laughs> After my mother died, I've been living with my father. His wife, Princess Rikshasi, took me in as her own. Later, brother came back from Bodhisattva Guanyin, and we reunited. We had some peaceful days. My brother was kind to me and to our parents. But somehow, not long ago, he suddenly changed. He secretly summoned his old troops for a coup. Imprisoned father kept mother under strict watch. I... I had nowhere else to turn. I had to go for help. But barely after leaving the place, his minions fell upon me. <laughs> the Bull King's might is known. Even together, Wukong and I couldn't rival him. Rakshasi's plantain fan is also formidable. And you want me to believe that they were subdued by a kid? Subdued by their son? Who else could make them put their guard down? Really, with soft hearts, they could never harm him. You idiot! This fox is fooling you! Look at this place! Only my brother's Samadhi fire could wreak such havoc! Oh no. My father is dying. Please, kind monkey, help me and my family. A perilous place this is. 
Keep this cicada safe with you. It'll come in handy. Mm. That's a voice I know well. I'll go ahead and take a look. No time to lose now. Follow me. This way. You can hide your secret wish from me. You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to... to lend me your plant and fan to save Father. <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I owe my life to Father, and to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi. I'm not a part of your family, and I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me the Destined One had arrived. <laughs> the Destined One, who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi, your situation is grave. Do you not see who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly. Just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come. Sit with me, and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I call for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine 
should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock, munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. Hmm. Now, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days too. We oh, were so happy back then. What's in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my hoof. hoof. You, you deserve, deserve to know before we kiss. You will live to repent this. <sighs> Filthy, low life! You dare take her form and beguile me! My old friend, wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud! My candid words were wasted on your foul ears! Candid, my hoof! Your revenants are everywhere! I thought you'd have better lies! Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Vile beast. Your savagery knows no cure. But you will behave once my sourceless water from Tushita drops. your journey once. Now I shall aid <laughs> well, Gone already. Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> Decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> you go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there. torn between her son and husband but this iron ball it just won't stop now that you are here help me drive it away and i'll let the fan do its work hey fox how can you be sure it's even real rest assured mother taught me this spell only the real fan will answer it the bull sounds weak probably on his last legs guess i have to trust you once i'll get down there and stop the ball and let you your work. skin will protect him. Come on, let's save Father first. <laughs>
brother will surely give up on his plan once it's returned. And then, we will be a family again. You mischievous mother. You dare to push your luck, but always have a way out. Only, you came back at the wrong time. Are you not thinking straight, Father? I brought the Destined One here to save you! I may be unwell, but I am not blind. You are not blind yet. How can you say that to me? I went through flames to find the Destined One for you. But you, Father, don't you see? Good show, but you simply lack the taste. I should have just killed you all. My guise was perfect. No one could see a single flaw in it. How did you find out then? out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Entertainment. That can wait. Since it came into my possession, I have kept it in my stomach, hidden from all. <coughs> I am old now. Fears have grown in me. Fear of war. Fear. Destined, deprived, it's all the same. Don't ever believe their bullshit. You are your choices, your causes and effects, not what you're called. So 
thanks to this false death talisman. Poor Keeper. Seems his legacy was his only offer after all. No wonder not a single raindrop was fanned. It was your trick the whole time. <laughs> My bad, old bull. I was a bit delayed. You little rascal. I'll teach you a lesson on your parents' behalf. Holding on, despite it all. Does your vengeance weigh more than your family? Spit it out now, his relic! <laughs> I'm sorry for my lateness. I turned to them, but none offered help. My lady, forget it. I implore you to show mercy and spare my son. He is the last of the Yaksha's bloodline in the West. With an origin most Tragic and twisted. Now, he poses a threat no more. Should you grant him mercy, I, Rakshasi, and the Balking shall retreat ourselves to secluded meditation. Along with our children, we will never leave the mountain again. He is our son. We will bear his punishment. If it pleases you, my plant in fan is also yours to take. Flames have paved my way. Through flames, I shan't stray. Vain was my flame for revenge destined to stray. Their delight lies in our submission, kneeling and begging.
atoned through deeds, Black Bear. Take this pair of eyes. You've served the righteous cause, Little Rat. These ears are yours. Your power has gathered in you, Little Rat. Keep this nose. You've endured hardships and the eye. Go down. And the bull, it is the hardest to turn against a sworn brother. You can have his body. Your reluctance is plain, just like my own. They forced me to drink from the river of childbearing, to bear that boy in my womb. If not for that monkey, we could have lived our separate lives in peace. As if none of this had happened. You're cute. You knew who I was from the start. Why did you choose to be their lapdog? I never wanted to sever our ties. If kinship means anything to you, give me that relic. And let me avenge my people. My king! Your brother, I've disciplined. Your boy, I've given away. Your wife's fan. Today, I'll take it with me too. Find a master and serve the right. It's the only path left for the likes of us. Don't you understand, brother? <laughs> Wukong! I took out the bull's concubine with a whack of my rake too! <laughs> <laughs> Turned out, oh, she was a fox guy. <laughs>
saw it uh, with enough merit and a position before the Buddha, they would leave me be, and all of you as well. Uh, now I see, for someone like me, staying alive is enough to be a transgression. <laughs> uh, brother, take care of your wife and children. And remember, steer clear of my remains. Getting home, son. Not getting all worked up. Oh. That old monkey's going to be at the mountain top no matter what. We don't have to rush. Uh, we've gathered the five relics, just as he said. All we need now is the sixth one he has. the mist until it sensed the relics on you. Thanks to them, it recalled its master and saved your skin. Now that it answers to your call, why not make good use of it? Ah, your mortal body is too heavy for me in my wind form. <laughs> All these henchmen of the court, what draws them to this mountain? Let's find out! I'm in fine. With you monkeys around, I'm always toiling away for nothing. <sighs> Kid, when you step up one day, try not to forget your uncle Bajir. All I got from Wukong were the nasty jobs. You should do better than that. <sighs> now we're done here. Time to move on. <laughs> 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 
Stop it! Idiot! Kong's gold sword seer armor. That monkey was full of surprises. Just like me. He had his way to linger on, and his belongings, too. They're set on killing those mongrels of a court. But we've got to snatch them first, or these scum will take them. I'll go find the other ones. Keep up with me. Yeah! These silly strands, you're all the more like Wukong. Just don't prance around with your might as he did. That monkey's got a stash of treasures. I'll scout around some more. <laughs>
and soft swallow. more for saving my rump. My belly's not too vile, is it? I'm not a meat eater after all. I hope it didn't repulse you. Well, you fetched it. It wasn't all that bad, eh? <laughs> now that Wukong's armor set is complete, we should go to Water Curtain Cave. Come with me. Yeah. Where do you come from, outsider? <laughs> In my realm, all monkeys are of similar face and shape. Your face speaks of a different breed, and an ugly one. <laughs> you must be a Yao Guai from another land. I've never ventured here since that journey. Nothing's changed after so many years. <laughs> he said this and told me to kneel <laughs> right here on this seat. Ah, here it is. I knew it. Wu Kong is tight-fisted, even Guan Yin agrees so. He kept it here so it could be passed down to another one of his kind. Now it's time for you to try it, kid.
Once you have this, there's no turning back. <laughs> now, you look exactly like Wukong. You're all set, kid. You look like a fierce warrior. Come with me. Let's find out what that old monkey is up to. You're here. We're here. Step aboard. Hey, old monkey. I hope this isn't a one-way trip, is it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't all life a one-way trip? Once you embark on the journey, there's no turning back. <laughs> Ah, what is this place? His memories. an eye for the finer things and the will to wrest them from others laying his eyes on then craving to seize their riches no better than the black bear and Jincha, I say you can't have an eye for the finer things while the Buddha oversees the three realms well I hardly think that's fair <laughs> how insatiable not content with his kingdom and title below, he asked for a position in the Celestial Court. But soon after his wish was granted, his joy turned to rage, all because he wasn't invited to a feast. He nearly ruined the entire Celestial Palace. <sighs> Years fume at unfavorable news. As untamed and ungrateful as that yellow rat, well, beasts are beasts, don't you think? He was young. He didn't know any better. Hadn't learned from the Buddha or our master yet. Aren't you being a bit harsh? Dredging up the scandals from his youth? Like his adulthood was any better. Since his release, he had claimed to have learned manners and discipline. Yet his wee franken gave him away. <sighs> Posing as an idol, he degraded the gods. Clear was his defiance of the doctrines he had learned. Well, he was just being naughty. <laughs> Aren't all great achievers somewhat self-obsessed? Myself included. <laughs> Nose in the air, feeling above others. I say... He was no less insolent than that yellow brow brat. Wait, isn't it that... that lady of some sort? Hmm. <laughs> it was her tricks that made Master drive Wukong away. On White Tiger Ridge, he forsook his love. Three times he broke her into pieces, convincing himself his heart would ache no more. Yet, as you must know, he had never let go of her. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so eager to get away from the Buddhahood he attained. Those who talk much of love will one day bite their tongues. <laughs> On this matter, he was akin to you and your many darlings. No matter where you are, you'd always fall captive to the web of mortal desire. Why bring me into this? True, I don't have the wits to break the web, but he had torn his way out since that day. <laughs> Take a look, Bajia. Can you see? Yeah. Many of your good friends are here. We're just fair-weather friends, that's all. But they are still friends, aren't they? <laughs> so you say, so it must be. These old buddies. I think none of them ended up well. Indeed. For ages, countless gifted souls have walked this earth. Yet of them, how few have forged everlasting greatness. Do you know why? Injustice? Never has it been just. Misfortune? Fortune is simply humility in the mighty. Well, mayhaps. They simply lacked my charm. <laughs> <laughs> Gifted they may be, yet strive they not. Content with little and lost in lust. Seek the ease, yet crave the renown. They yearn for freedom, yet aspire to Buddhahood. They always want both, yet nobody can and nobody should. Such was the folly of the Bull King and Wukong. Destiny's favor calls for the resolution to sever all desires. You should mark well these words. Hold on. This can't be Wukong's memory. You're fooling us, aren't you? Ah, five of the six relics call for one. Bajie, tell me which. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mind, it's mind. What did you just see? The three of us? That was the last one. I see now. It was you. I knew it from the beginning. You were the mind of Wukong all along. That's why you led us here. Not me. It's him. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Him? He is Wukong? Yes. And no. Cut to the chase, will you? We didn't come this far for your riddles. After Wukong died, five of his six senses endured and were taken by the Yao Guai kings. Only his mind was lost. Mind is the first of the six. It's the essence unique to every life. Therefore, it's destined to fade away at life's end. Hold on. You mean Wukong's gone for good? Never to return? You old bastard! You've been lying to us all this time! That Wukong you knew will never return. But what made him remains. The universe will always bear him a successor. One who shall carry on his name and nature. This chosen successor is the destined one. Nameless you were, yet perils and mighty foes you've braved to recover his relics. Your will now stands resolute, worthy of his power. You mean this boy is to take Wukong's name? He's not! Son Wukong is long gone! 
Vaya. Deep down, you know he wasn't all that perfect. <laughs> now that he is dead, this one, perhaps, shall bear the name in his stead. Here, we can venture forth with you no further. This task is yours alone. Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name! You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tongue Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now... You will hear a tale which no one has ever known.